Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sick in the Six Shot Gaming Channel, and I am back with another season two patch character breakdown for y'all. With these videos, I'll be breaking down every single change that happened, or almost every single major change that happened within the season two patch to the characters. So, this video we got Cell Kibble and Frieza. These are the main villains of the Dragon Ball Z universe. The last video we had Goku, Goku Blue, Vegeta Blue, and Goku Black. And the video before that we had Super Saiyan Goku, Piccolo, and Vegeta. So if you haven't seen the videos before, please make sure to go check those videos out. And stay tuned to this video to learn more about Cell, Kibble, and Frieza. We're going to go very in-depth about all the past changes and what you can do with these characters and so on and so forth now. But before we get started with the video, please smash the like button. If you like the video, also if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, check us on the past content. Make sure to hit the notification bell to get alerted every single time when I drop a new vid for y'all. Also, you want to help support my channel in any type of way at all, check the description box to go do so. But anyways, let's get started. So to get started, Cell's standing light attack is now fast on startup. I believe in the vanilla, vanilla version of the game, it was of six frames already, I believe. Then they nerfed it to seven frames, but now they put it back to six frames again. So that's pretty good. Uh, another change they made is to his second hit was auto combo. Now you could input back or down during the second hit of the auto combo. And it will reduce how much further he goes. So as you can see, at this distance, I could do light, light, hit the opponent. Or I could also do back, light, light, and I won't fully go towards my opponent like so. So that's something new with Cell. So the next change they made is to the third hit was auto combo. It says increase the vertical distance between Cell and the opponent when grabbed. Increase buffer time for a super dash. Increase untech time. Decrease active frames. They fix a certain issue. And increase vertical hitbox. So pretty much it sounds like a whole bunch of buffs. To me, the only thing that's probably really more important to me is that they increase the buffer time for the Super Dash. So now I guess you could take longer to go into Super Dash. And it has more untech time when you get hit, when the opponent gets hit by this move. So yeah. Uh, another change is that they made his down light or crouching light faster on startup. So yeah. Um, another change they made is to his crouching key blast attack. Now it said adjust the time it takes into landing and overall recovery frames. Um, I'm not too sure what this means, but it seems like maybe a buff. I don't know. So another change they made is to his jumping key blast. His jumping key blast now has faster start after using it after a smash attack, like his like a jumping heavy attack. But the thing is. Now I think that made the nerf here, where you now you can't get like mid-screen um, sliding knockdown combos as you could do before. So that's pretty big. So another change they made is they adjusted some of the smash properties on his Core Circle Forward series. So now the light version, as you can see, causes a, not really a sliding knockdown, but it causes a it puts you in the OTG state when you're able to do stuff like this. You can cancel right into your super, and that wasn't really the case before. So that's a buff. Um, the air version of this move has increased startup on the air. So the, the air version is slower. It also says it increased the fall speed on the air version and increased opponent's rollback on the air version. So... Pretty much, you're not going to be able to do combos like this no more. As you can see, it's just the move is just way too slow now for you to connect with the air version of the light on um, rolling crush move. Now, the medium version gives you that little bounce now for the with the slide and knockdown. So now you're able to do advantage combos like this, or you're able to do assist combos like this now off of the medium version. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. And but besides that, it has pretty much all the same properties. And the heavy version has pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing as the medium version. It gives you that bounce, slide, and knockdown now. And you can also cancel, use the assist to extend the combos as well. 
Um, it also has increased untech time. And the air version has faster startup, which is really, really good. But as you can see, it doesn't really cover how it, the, like, a, a distance like how it used to. But it's really, really fast. So you can use it as a really good overhead. And as you can see, if you're really quick with it, you can do stuff like this now. Where it crosses you up. So you can jump up, stay in front of your opponent, or jump up cross your opponent up and do this move and it's a really really good cross up move now so I would be using this move for situations like this now if I was a cell player or if you're a cell player you should be using this move a lot now when you're trying to mix up your opponent it's a really really good mix up too now with cell and that's a really good buff that it gave to him even though it lost his distance with the move so moving on to the changes with the perfect attack, his course of the back series. The light version has faster startup when you do it on the ground. So yeah. And the heavy version has a couple of different things now. So when your opponent blocks the heavy version, it pulls in the opponent a little bit, as you can see. It just pulls them in ever so slightly. So yeah. So that's one of the changes on the heavy version if your opponent blocks it. They also change the head effects if you actually hit with this move. Or the properties when you hit with it. it yeah. It changed the properties when you hit with the move. I couldn't talk right there for a second. They also reduce damage from the move. And in the air version, they changed the um the final hit of the air version. So before on the air version, you still used to get the grad that brings it back down to the ground. But now that's not the case no more. And now moving on to his Kamehameha, they changed some things about his Kamehameha. Um, a lot of them was more so bugs issues or well like that. But the main things they changed is they said they increased the hit stop on the mid-air version. Also adjusted the opponent knockback from the mid-air mid -air version. And they enlarged the mid-air version hitbox. So as you can see, the opponent flies back a lot higher up in the air after getting hit by this version of the move. And these changes carry over to the assist as well so just keep that in mind that the same exact change he has as a regular character carry over to the assist so combo into him is going to be a little bit different so moving on to freezer we're going to talk about some of the changes um they made a mid-air stun change when extending hurt box upwards when falling and they made a mid-air dragon rush change adjust the distance when moved when forcing a switch now move on to other changes they increased the start, well not increased, but they made it the start of faster on standing light. And they increased the distance move during the attack. So as you can see, Frieza moved forward a little bit more now. Then now a change to the second hit of the auto combo. You could, they increased the time where you could actually link in the second hit of the auto combo if the first hit misses. So that's pretty good. Um but yeah, so if the second hit misses, you have a lot more time now to link into the other hits of your auto combo. So that's pretty good. Moved on from there, they made his crouching light faster. They increased startup on his crouching light. Moved on from there, they said they reduced the amount of hit stop for the first hit of the crouching medium attack, as you can see. And they also increased the distance moved during the attack. So. It attacks out further now, but it's less hit stop on the move. Moving on from there, standing heavy got a lot of changes. So they increased the duration of the first hit of the attack. Reduced the amount of hit stop for the first hit of the attack when it's guarded, as you can see. Um, reduced the knockback from the first hit of the attack. They also enlarged the move hitbox during the startup. They decreased delay. So this is a really big change as well. Um, if you throw out, if you do stand heavy and you vanish, as you can see, the 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 rocks will just disappear. It can be mid going on a path, and if you vanish at all, it disappears. I don't know why they made that change to Frieza, but hey, it also reduced some of the block stun on the move as well, so it doesn't keep your block stun as heavy as it did before. So that kind of kills a lot of his block strings now. Because now you can vanish before you, when you do stuff like this. Well, not that part. You can vanish out of that. But when you do stuff like this before, like 
standing heavy into down heavy or standing heavy into like on um, course like a forward you was wasn't able to vanish out of those but now you are able to vanish out but if you do the hands version of the course like a forward or if you do like stand heavy into key blast you can't vanish out, vanish out of that so yeah another thing is before i think if i'm correct when you hit when you hit with this move at any point it always gave the wall bounce like that little like wall bounce now but now the only time the wall bounces is when they from the first hit so moving on from there with the standing um when the standing key blast attack it said reduce stun time for the final hit of the attack so i don't really know exactly what that gonna do with freezer because i'm not a freezer player but there you go moving on from there got to change it to the jumping medium attack it said reduce the amount of hit stop for the first hit of the jump of the attack Shrunk the hitbox of the first hit of the attack. Sped up the um basically they increased the startup of the move. Reduced the uh not back when you're hitting the opponent. And it said also adjust the speed of attack when performed in mid-air combos. So as you can see before, when you used to do this com combo with Frieza, it kind of used to knock the opponent back a little bit, but now it doesn't do so, so it's easier to do like medium medium to the light now. So that's good. So moving on from there, he got changes to his down heavy in the air. So also they said they adjusted the distance the move travels, and it also gives you a slot of knockdown now. So Frieza doesn't have to do combos like this no more to get a slot of knockdown. He could do regular jump cancel extended combos. Well, not extended, but regular jump cancel combos like this, and do down heavy and get the um, slot of knockdown now. So that's a, a very very good change for Frieza. So moved on from there, they made changes to his jumping key blast. They all they did with that is just a large move hitbox. Now moving on to his jumping, uh, not his jumping, but his course over forward, um, light, medium, heavy attacks. So a couple changes they made is they re reduced the delay of the move. Um, so I believe it's just more safer on block now. They also reduced the amount of hit stop when the attack is guarded. And they change the timing on which the advantage can be performed. So I think you can before I think you could vanish very very quickly as soon as you did this move. But now I think you could just vanish a little bit later on. So maybe that gives the opponent time to like down heavy you or something like that. But to me it kind of feels the same. It's not that big of a change. So maybe it was just a little bit harder to reflect. I think that change is probably because it was kind of hard to reflect that move. So going into advantage i think they just made it so you could reflect easier now if i had to take a guess at it and also with the light and medium version of this move they reduced the move stun time as well but yeah moved on from there we're going to be talking about squad circle forward and the key blast button they enlarged the move hitbox they reduced the opponent not back from the first hit of the attack not too sure what that means um reduce the delay when the attack does not hit the opponent so I believe it's a little bit safer now when you whiff the attack. Um, they made a, a nerf though when they reduced the block stun of this move. So when your opponent blocks, they're not in the block stun as long as it was before. Reduce the projectile stun time. Sped up the ground version startup. So the ground version is a lot faster now. So moving on to the flying depth sources. Alright, so some of the changes they made to those moves is... They made the move faster on startup. They made it a little bit safer. Um, and they increased the move damage scaling. So they gave it some buffs, but then the damage scaling is a nerf. But you're still able to do your type of setup for Frieza as you was before. So nothing changed with that. And it comes out a lot faster now. So that's pretty good. But you're going to be missing out on some damage now. But whatever. Now you got a change to your warp smash. All they did with this move is that they enlarged the move hitbox. That's pretty much it. Yep, that's pretty much it with that. They just enlarged the move hitbox. All right. Moved on from there. You got changes to the death ball. So they just said they fixed an issue in which the base damage of the attack would change. Um, That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. 
nothing else really about the death ball moving on from there got some changes to the nova strike so they adjusted the properties on the hit adjusted the opponent not back so i believe the opponent gets knocked back a lot further now but of course in the corner you're still right atop your opponent but i think before the opponent was closer mid-screen if this move was a hit so as you can see the position and where the opponent is now they pretty much full screen so i don't think that was the case before they increased the speed of the attack when it hits as well and they also made it more difficult for your, the, the attack to hit up cross, um, cross up as well as you can see it doesn't really hit cross up like it did before that's good then they made a change to golden freezer and this change is very much needed because they made a universal change with the ever patch where you don't gain as much meter as you would for a certain time period when you, you spend meter but now they change that back for a golden freezer so that's really really good that you gain regular meter back as you did before so moving on to kibble kibble got some changes as well um he had a change to his mid-air stun extended hurt box upwards when falling um now to the important change the crouch and medium attack more specifically the down back medium version or the one m version the one the one on medium version um it says increases the delay when perform at close range so what i believe is basically it has more recovery now right now moving on from there you got your jump his jump and medium attack it said adjusted the attack behavior when performed at a low position. So, I'm not too sure exactly the exact change on this. But, I believe, well, at least to sell as I'm trying this out. As you can see, when it's blocked, all hits is hitting. As you can see, you can get the, like, the two mini hits and then you can go into heavy. But, I think at certain positions, when it's not blocked, you would not hit with that headbutt as you can see the headbutt just misses and i don't believe that was the case before you have to be really low kind of close to like the chest area to really catch how you would before so just keep that as my at just keep that in mind in mind basically so moving on to there they made a change to jump in key blast attack enlarge the move hitbox during startup reduce the opponent not back and moving on from there we're going to talk about the mystic ball course of the forward attack they changed a lot of stuff on this move so they increased the knockback, back increase the opponent not back um increase distance move during the attack shrunk the move hitbox slow down the ground version startup added damage scaling to the first head of the ground version and adjust the properties on hit during um basically change the smash hits during the move so with the light version now, as you can see, um, reduce the attack bounce when it hits on grounded. So before, when you did this move, you would be airborne after the move. So you would do the light version, boom, and end up being airborne. And you was able to get like a little mix up after that. So after um, certain moves got nerfed with Kibble, that was probably the main mix-up too with an assist. You would do the light version, and then your opponent would just have to eat the mix-up after that. But now that's not the case. So that's really, really big. And it even changes Oki, as you can see. Before you was able to do the light version, come down and get light. And if they tech up, you were able to hit them with the jumping um heavy attack. But as you can see, they're ground on the floor now at the light version. So you don't get that type of Oki no more at all so that's very very big that's a very big change even though you're, you are still plus so if your opponent press a button if they tech on the ground they're good but if you do something like this right with the if you could change it up and try to do the medium version but now they could down heavy you out the medium version so that's big and the change they made to the heavy version of this move they just increased the move damage that's pretty much it. Nothing really big here. They just made the move do more damage. So that's pretty good as well. So moving on to his core circle back series. The arm swings, the, the, the air grabs. They said basically they adjusted the smash properties of this move. So the light version causes a basically a knockdown. 
a slide and knockdown console. The medium version, I believe, used to cause a slide and knockdown before. I'm not, I don't remember correctly, but now you're able to combo with this move solo now. When I think before you needed an assist to combo with this move, and yeah, I think before you needed an assist to combo with the move, and now you don't. So moving on to the candy beam, of course, looking for a key blast. It said adjust the properties on the smash hit, slow down, cancel timing when the attack is guarded. I'm not too sure what this means. I, it felt like I could still cancel however I wanted after the move was blocked. So I'm not too sure what that means exactly. But it just says slow down, cancel time when the attack is guarded. Increase timing for stored inputs when the attack connects. So now, basically what this means is it's a lot easier to do the candy beam and cancel into the level 1 super, as you can see. Before, you literally had to wait into the very... Like, right when he spits um, the opponent back out to cancel into your super. But now, you can cancel it a little bit in between as he's shooting him. Like, you could do it right here, and it'll catch it. Well, actually, he didn't catch right there, so uh, that was a bad call. But you could do it right here, and it catches it. And before, it wasn't that easy, so they made it just the timing a little bit easier. And changes to the level 3. Um... It says no action can be taken until Kibble lands from the mid air version. As you see, you cannot do nothing at all until you hit the ground. But I believe that was always the case. So I don't know if there was a bug going on or something like that. But I believe every single time you did the level 3 from the air, you could never move until you like reanimate yourself. So I'm not too sure about that. They also said increase the speed of the descent for the mid air version. And change the delay um after basically they change the recovery after when the uh after you use this attack i don't really notice a difference in, on this one so i don't know but yeah for that's pretty much the end of the road for this video this has been a dragon ball fighters season two in-depth patch character breakdown for y'all with cell kibble and frieza hopefully you was able to enjoy the video if you wasn't able to enjoy the video Please smash the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you haven't checked out the other video videos before for Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and Goku Black, or the video before even that one, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Piccolo, make sure to go back and check those videos out. It was very informative, and they teach you a lot about what happened with those characters during this patch. So make sure you go do that. And I will try to have out the next three characters as fast as possible. I'm gonna try my best to put out tomorrow. I also want to put out some other videos out. Like I have like a Mortal Kombat video, a Power Ranger video, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned for that. But besides that, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out some of the past content. Also make sure I hit the notification bell to get alerted every time I drop a new vid for y'all. Make sure y'all go do that. It's very important. Also, you want to help support my channel any type of way at all, check the description box to go do so. But anyways, hope all you have a nice day. Peace. Get my mouth to the smoke